All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. What is it called? Oh, yeah, out here outdoors, because we may not know what we're doing, but we out here. Look, y'all ain't going to want to miss this one again. We ripping them lips while y'all watching the eclipse. <laughs> Little poet and didn't know it. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just kidding. Look, but on a real note, we uh caught the fire out of them crappies again in the Yachtman River. Little river creek fishing again. Little flowing water kind of stuff going on, okay? Battling off the snakes, because I saw five dog <laughs> five snakes out there today. But anyway, so without further ado, here goes some good old crappy action. Hope you enjoy. All right. Here we are again. Headed down the Yakima River. Jeep pole in hand. Let's we'll see if we can't catch some of them slab crappie. But we got to get way down here on that little bitty nook of the river right there. There's two trees and a root ball. There's some wood ducks flying right down the center of the river. <clears throat> but anyway, the river has continued to drop. Um, we had a pretty heavy rain this morning uh, from, I don't know, give or take 5.30 this morning to about 7.30. So about two hours. It probably dropped a uh, half inch rain, something like that. So hopefully this river is going to come up uh, over the next two, three days, whatever. I mean, it wasn't even enough rain to dirty up the water. But... The rain, you know, in the river system, the rain, liable to rain three or four miles down river and it'll take it a day or two to catch up to you, you know, where you're at. Anyway, y'all stay tuned. We're going to go back to my little root ball in my tree down here. Uh, might catch some, might not. All right. <clears throat> I walked right up to this little log here and first drop in. Called a keeper. I wasn't expecting to catch one right there, and that was my fault. Didn't have the camera running, but I dropped it up here in kind of real shallow water and just let it drift right down beside that log. And usually you don't catch them in this wolf of water either. I mean, I know it's calm right up there where I'm dropping my G. Right. We're back at my famous spot where I caught 90% of my crap at. First drop in. I don't know how well it's gonna go, folks. Man, this water has dropped a foot and a half, easy. Might have to find me a way deeper hole than this. Now this is crazy, look. I don't know if y'all can see that. Right there, y'all see that white spot? This is about the third or fourth egg that I found. Well, that one cracked open, but I found one. Is that, what kind of egg is it? Is that a turkey egg, maybe? It's crazy. But that's third or fourth one that I found up down through here. That's just crazy. We have walked a country mile down this river. And the river has dropped so much, I can't find a deep enough hole to fish in. So, I feel pretty confident. We're going to catch one around this little brush area right here. It's going to happen. Yep, there he is. Told you. Dog on striper, not really, or white bass, whatever you want to call it. Not really what we're after today. But, you done got me all tangled up, cow. Mm. Let's see what we was going to catch at least one out of that hole. Not the species we're looking for. Well, I have figured out something. Right in that little hole right there, 
just past where I was standing, there's a whole school of white bass in there. So we might turn this crappie fishing adventure into a white bass adventure. Check this out. Well, right. Let's see how fast we can catch one. Yep. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Don't go crap. That is a doggone crap in the keeper. Yes, sir. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> I'm gonna measure him for giggles, but I'm pretty sure. Absolutely, that's a 13 inch crap. Look at that. <laughs> we might have just messed around and Found what we've been looking for, folks. This is not easy, folks. I got him at there. Another crappie. Oh, don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Mm. Yes, sir. Another crappie. They right there beside that dog on the stick, man. And it's raining. I'm gonna fish my pole back to him. I'm gonna measure him just for giggles. Pretty sure he's 13 inch fish, but absolutely, man. <laughs> we done messed around and figured some junk out, son. It took us a hot minute. We found this little deep hole. Mess around with these strappers. <laughs> Done messed around and found the crappy. I gotta check my phone. Oh, hold tight, I gotta check my phone. All right, we are back in action. <clears throat> hey, he was there. I think there's a load of crappy hanging up under there. Oh no. No way. Come on, man. Oh, that's gonna suck. I got hung up right there. You kidding me? <clears throat> no way. No way. Well, there he is. I didn't even know he was on there. Get on up in here. Get on up in here. A white bass. We not trying to catch white bass. We trying to catch doggone crappies. There's the crappie. Come on, baby. Stay on there. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Wet. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, we have not moved our feet. Uh, that makes fish number 
Mm. Well, heck, I got three crap on my stringer. This makes number four going on the stringer. And the cool part about it is, I ain't had to measure these, because they are slabs. That's four or five stripers, and now four. Keep her crappy. I'm loving it. Mm -mm 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 -mm, loving it. If I can get up on that bank where I can just jig around that stick right there, probably wouldn't catch nothing but crap. Well, I broke my line over there. I don't know if I got that on film where I got hung up. But anyway, I had to break my line, tie a new jig on, and I was really just testing how that sap sucker cut me. Look at that. His gill plate got me. <clears throat> Stop. Anyway, uh, had to tell All right, so I was catching all them fish in that little hole right there. Well, it's shallow enough right here. I can get on the bank and go up and over and stand right there. But, excuse me, but I'm gonna fish this little stuff right here right quick. These mosquitoes leave me alone. Yes. I'm tired of catching y'all little punks. About tired of catching y'all little punks. Can't stand catching them things really, but so, um, a lot of people tell me that they're Fantastic to eat, and I may eat them one day, but today ain't that day. As long as these are crappy biting, I'm not keeping white bass. Y'all can hate on me if you want to. They say it really is a delicacy, like I got a buddy of mine that he swears by them. All right, we finally made it. <sighs> Out of breath and everything, up and over, and them crappy. <laughs> Well, I'll just have a seat right here, you know what I'm saying? Good time to sit down. Them crap are biting right here. All right, slide update. So while I was up on the bank, I only caught, I think three fish total. Got hung up a ton of times. And uh, I saw three different snakes, three. I almost stepped on one, I almost died, y'all. Not from the snake bite, from the doggone heart attack I almost had. That thing was big around as a doggone coke can. I almost died. So we back in the water. And we're just jigging around these, these roots and stuff like that. Because I, I, I ain't getting back on the bank until it's time to go to the truck. So let's see what we can do right here. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. oh. First little drop in. Please be a crap in. Nope. Back bass. Doggone. Ah. Boy, I was hoping that was a doggone crap it right there. The low strap bass. These things fight like, mm, like cray cray. And I know, I know, I know. I'm going to get some haters. How? I'm gonna get some haters because there's some haters out there that want to eat them. And I just don't care to eat them. Ain't no, but not because I think they're nasty, but because I ain't never ate them before. So let's see if there might be a crap in there too. All right, folks, well, we finally got rained out. Let me see if I can show y'all. I'm standing on the bridge right now, but we finally got rained out. But we did manage to catch nine Perdians. Right here in the Yakano River. Hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Look, may not know what I'm doing, but at least I'm out here, out here outdoors. Thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all get ready to watch all them bad boys being caught. You heard me? <laughs> Love that thump. Have a good one.